Mechanical engineering could be calling too. Anyhow, let's see what's going on with the weather this evening. There could be a couple of flurries scattered around the area. Better chances across the north, especially north of US 36 tonight as a disturbance passes on through. And you'll notice the temperatures, just like yesterday evening, really not moving much. We have another one of those clipper systems coming by, so a little bit of warmer air trying to push in from the west. But eventually a cold front does come through overnight. And by tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, down to 22. Also tomorrow morning, may start to see a few breaks in the clouds, although there's a good chance we'll start off with some low cloudiness and then those clouds break during the day and we'll see partly perhaps even some mostly sunny skies as we head towards the afternoon with those temperatures climbing into the low to mid 30s. Here's that area of snow we're painting tonight on our future track forecast showing it coming across mainly northern Ohio. Better chances of an inch or so of accumulation across the northern part of the state once you get to Lima and up northward towards Finley. But still some of our far northern counties you might see a light dusting of snow this evening but I think most areas looking at less than a half inch of accumulation as that system comes by. Then we get the return of a little bit of that colder air here late tonight, allowing temperatures to head down uh, to about 22 right along that I-70 corridor from Indianapolis through Dayton to Columbus, and even some teens possible over the northern part of the state. But the latter part of the week should feature a little bit of a warming trend as uh, temperatures will be getting up uh, into the 40s, it appears, by the time we get uh, to the upcoming weekend, especially on Sunday. Live Doppler 2 HD looking at dry conditions here tonight night in Montgomery County, even some breaks in the clouds to our west, but then you notice a little bit more some of that snow showing up in the northern counties up towards Bell Fountain, Zanesfield and Valley High over towards Mad River Mountain, West Liberty. Uh, that's where we're picking up some of that snow tonight that's been moving eastward. Nothing real heavy here, but just enough may produce a light coating of snow and then some bands of some moderate snow coming across northern Indiana, but the bulk of this looks like it will be staying north of our viewing area, although Mercer County, Auglaise County, Logan County, especially the northern Northern parts of those counties may be clipped by some of that snow. Right now in Dayton, we have cloudy skies. We're at the freezing mark. Southwest wind at 10 miles an hour. Wind chill of 24. And today's high, uh, the current reading, 32. We were down to 23 this morning. 65, the record high, and 9 degrees below zero back in 1979. Temperatures a little bit cooler to the north and east of us. Upper 20s towards Logan County, uh, but mostly in the low 30s down our way as some of that warmer air tries to punch in from the west. Uh, temperatures have climbed as warm as 51 at Louisville, but still only in the mid 20s up towards Toledo. There are southwest winds, but definitely a wind shift right here around St. Louis, Springfield and Peoria. That's indica indicative of our cold front that will be passing across the area here uh, later tonight and into tomorrow morning, and that will deliver uh, some of that chillier weather for us. Some of those bands of snow moving through now. Our future track forecast model showing that snow shifting eastward and then high pressure builds in across the state. Looks like things Things will be fairly calm tomorrow. A quiet day for a change on Wednesday. Some flurries around the area this evening, especially up north, overnight low 22, and then back to partly, even at times, mostly sunny skies tomorrow, 34 for the high. We'll probably see a few more clouds to start the day and then a little more sunshine later in the day as we roll along. And then our seven day planner up into the mid 40s on Thursday. We will see, though, a chance of some rain showers as we head towards Thursday evening. That could change over to some snow showers Thursday night and early Friday before coming to an end and then look at those 40s going into the weekend.